Right then, you're with a hairy golfer at Lillybrook and you won't believe how many times I've said that the past three weeks only to abandon the video after three or four holes because of the wind blowing the camera over and the damn rain. So, it's about time I introduced you to my new golf course. So I'm going to show you each hole and describe to you how I'm going to play the hole. I've got a couple of guys with me today. Uh, I've never met them before, so this is going to be fun. I hope they don't mind me doing a bit of filming. Um, we are off winter mats and they're very well constructed winter mats so I don't mind being off winter mats and of course it keeps the tee here uh, in good shape for I think it's the end of March we go back onto the point onto the properties so um, it's just so that I can keep walking and keep playing golf at the correct pace I've employed a good voiceover artist today and he works really cheap I wonder who it could be See you on the course. First hole, I managed to avoid the two big trees down the right by pulling my tee shot and it kind of goes downhill from there. Garbage. I got 40 yards here, I was expecting it to release down the green but it just stopped dead. Number two, dog leg to the left. From the mat, it's a shorter dog leg. I'm just gonna hit a three wood here and turn it around the corner. There's a ditch across for your second shot, so that's why I'm hitting a three wood. And the entrance to the green is dominated on the right by a large tree, which no doubt we will be paying a visit to many times this coming year. This is a typical Lilybrook green. It turns from the hill, but it's full of optical illusions. It's incredibly difficult to putt on these greens. And even though this looks uphill, it wasn't actually, it was, it was downhill. It's so, so confusing. The new pitching green just needs seeding now. On the third tee, all the steps have been renewed around the golf course this winter. I can't wait to get on the proper tees. 
Number three. This is a long one, although we're miles in front. You can't miss left. And the green itself is quite large, so there's no excuses. Get it well on the green. Not bad for an old man. This is what happens when you miss to the left. Watch this ball come charging across the green and off it. Yeah, don't miss left. Number four, get a bit of a rest here. It's a bit of a blind shot because of the edge of the reservoir there, which uh, is used for the sprinklers. But it's, it's a hole you can relax on. I quite enjoy this hole. Number five, there's the uh, sixth green. T stretches back quite a long way there. It's stroke one. You'd really like to drive down the left here. The fairway slopes to the left, so hopefully that will help us in the summer once it's all dried out. And then the entrance to the green is really narrow. The green's narrow. So it's a hard target to hit. Number six, there's a ditch across down there, so I'm not keen on taking driver at the moment while we're this far forward. And the fairway is one of the most interesting fairways on the course. And it's topped off by an exceptionally large green. So you need to know your yardage to the flag, so it's laser time rather than GPS time. Number seven, 
This is going to play a 4-iron to the front and a 3-iron to the back. The further up the green you go, the bigger it is. But then you've got a downhill putt, so... Which way do you toss the coin? Head to tails. Number eight, the only par five. It's not very long, but it plays up the hill. There's a tree to the left and a tree to the right. And the fairway slopes to the left towards that big tree you can see. You've really got to get your tee shot in the right place if you want to hit a three wood for your second. Now I'm on an upslope here and I'm looking to hit a little cut because of the dog leg. And I just pull the arse off this. This is an exceptionally long green. I've only just got on it. I got about 50, maybe even 60 feet here, four or five feet of break off the right. And I gotta give this one hell of a big thump. Number nine, this stretches out to 467 yards. It's a long par four, but it is down the hill and your second shot is down the hill. So it's no real bother. The only place you can't go is behind those three poplars on the right. Well, if you want someone to slice the nuts off a long iron, I'm your man. Let's give this a real big over the top swing. I'm pretty good at those. Well, maybe not that good. <laughs> 